This one is pretty good. Well, let's get started on it then. If you're still working, that's fine, by the way. So I'm going to distribute the 2a into this 2a, which would give me 4a squared. And yeah, I'm, I'm skipping some steps, so if that's no good, then go back and check the other ones. And then I've got 2a times this b, so plus 2ab. And then I've got negative b times 2a, so negative 2ab. And negative b times b, which would be negative b squared. And yeah, what's great about these is, well, these two cancel out. So we really just have 4a squared minus b squared. Now this is all subtracted, or subtracting this a minus b. So I've got a minus b times a minus b. And once again, if I distribute, I've got, uh, so this would be minus a squared. I should put that, I apologize. I should, I should put this in parentheses, by the way. So I'm subtracting this whole quantity. And this is minus a b. And then the next one, minus a b. And then negative b times negative b is plus b squared. And this is its own quantity. The reason why we have to keep track of these is because it was subtracting that squared quantity before, which just means we're going to change the signs in these ones. And we could combine like terms if we wanted to. But let's say that we didn't. Then I'd have a negative a squared plus a b plus a b. Yes, yeah, some of you guys would have combined those two. Uh, before this, and that's okay. Minus b squared. So I've got 4a squared minus b squared minus a squared plus 2ab. So I'm just combining these two minus b squared. And yeah, we could combine these two as well. And the 4a squared minus the a squared. So this two give us 3a squared these two give us negative 2b squared. Then we're just going to add this to 2ab. 